Well, school may seem a long way off, but local health officials say now is the time to get your kids ready. It's not shopping families need to worry about just yet, but back to school shots. Here's new sixes, Crystal Moyer. Data from the Florida Department of Health shows vaccinations dropped 15% in March and 40% in April. That was during the statewide stay-at-home order. Some doctors say they are concerned about catching up on the missed appointments and vaccinations. We've done such a good job of encouraging people to stay home, and now we need to do just as good of a job as helping them get back into their doctor's offices. Pediatric critical care physician Jenna Wheeler says doctor's offices are under strict CDC protocols to keep their spaces clean and their patients safe from the virus. You know, social distancing, having, you know, sick kids coming at certain times of the day, well kids coming at other times of the day to separate them, having families wait outside, wait in their cars, you know, coming in just when it's their appointment time. With many kids heading back to school in the fall, pediatricians are urging parents to schedule their well visits and immunizations. Especially the measles has been the one that people talk about with vaccines because we know as the number of people vaccinated falls, there's a higher risk for an outbreak in a community. Two weeks ago, Dr. Raul Pino with Florida Health of Orange County made a push to vaccinate students, specifically those going into middle school. I've vaccinated already uh, over a thousand kids uh, during these three weeks. And we want to prevent any uh, outbreaks within an outbreak. So we will also will be insisting on flu vaccinations uh, for this fall. In Orlando, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.